Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I just finished up a class and I had done a pour on here so the table was kind of a mess. But I wanted to do a sink strainer pour, but I'm going to do a dirty pour instead of layering it in colors and layers. I'm going to do a dirty pour in my cup and then pour it in. So I think I'm going to do just more of a kind of a gradient pour. Let me get my gloves on. All my paints are mostly deco art. My hands are wet, so my gloves aren't wanting to go on real well. But I have Doxacene Purple. And I self-mixed this. I've got a mauve purple color. Uh, I have their Bubblegum Pink, which is this and their primary yellow, their primary red, primary blue, festive green. This is teal mint, desert turquoise with a little calypso blue in it, which I have not even stirred together. I've got some metallics, the copper, gold. This is kind of a deep orange. It's their orange and I added a little bit of red to it so it's a little deep orange. And I have black. So I think that's all the colors I have. So maybe I'll start with the yellow. I'm just going to pour a, a layer of yellow in the bottom of the cup. I'm going to kind of do this gradient and if it goes down into the cup that's fine too, like a dirty pour. I want, I want the colors to to be different from each other, so I'm trying not to put too close of a color against each other. Some of this paint is like super thick because it's been sitting for a few hours during class. So now I'm going to switch to the red. Ah, let's do orange against the blue. Oops, I didn't mean to pour that in as deep as I did. That's probably going to overtake everything. Red. And purple. Now, I'm going to do the sink strainer pour, but I'm going to just pour it straight in. I'm not doing it you know, with the gradient colors or anything, I'm just going to go for it. Let me put a little bit of this lighter purple on top. Move things out of the way a bit. And this actually would make a really pretty tree ring pour too. I'm going to go ahead and do it through the sink strainer. And these colors do have OGX in them, so it's going to have lots of cells. I did not put any base coat on the canvas, so the canvas is dry because I didn't want it sliding off the canvas too quickly. I wanted to be able to have the choice to tilt it if I wanted to or add color on the outside. I'll go ahead and lift the sink strainer out. I'm doing it slowly. It's 
So the purple is really strong and the orange that went down into my cup is really strong and that's what's kind of showing up. I'm going to go ahead and heat it. So it's funny how most of the other colors did not show up and how strong this purple is. That's the weird part, but anyway. I'm just stretching it a little bit at a time and then back to the center. Kind of looks like a critter in the middle there. Okay, I'm going to tilt this way because it has the most orange and I don't want that orange. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt this off. Kind of interesting and weird all at the same time. So I kind of like this burst of color through there. But do I want to leave this as is? I'm not sure. I'm going to add some color in this cup. There's already some yellow and green. So, put some of this emerald color with the blue, maybe a pinch of the primary blue. Give it a, just a little bit of a swirl. Before I do that, let me see if I can accentuate these little yellow things. Use a skewer instead. Or a toothpick. How about a toothpick? I'm going to do a balloon smash right here. Let me see what happens. I'm 
to trickle a little bit of purple right around. You know, you just kind of create your own cells sometimes. So the yellow is coming through, which I like. I like that aspect of it. So it's bizarre. It doesn't look like a sink strainer pourer, but I do like it. It gets different. Well, let me heat it. Let me heat it one more time just to see if any more cells pop up. So, you know, the things that I added, they're doing their own thing as far as the cells go. Anyway, the table is a mess, but I'm going to let this keep sitting and I'm sure things will change. I hope you enjoyed it and I added a, a channel membership feature where you can subscribe to my channel. You're already a subscriber or you may just be watching from the first time. You can be a subscriber. You'll continue to get all my videos for free like you always do. But I added a channel membership and it's $4.99 a month and it's going to give you an exclusive video once a month that is strictly me and you chatting with each other, learning more about each other, asking questions, maybe taking suggestions for different pours or whatever. That's just a once a month thing that will be for the people that have a channel membership only. That's just a once a month video that's live. That will be the only thing that changes. Everything else I will continue to make these videos on a regular basis like I always do because I absolutely love doing this. This is my heart and my passion and I will keep on doing it and you're not going to be losing out on anything if you're not doing the $4.99 a month. You don't have to be a member of the $4.99 subscription to see my videos. Everybody can see my videos. It's just an additional bonus video that will be one time a month live streamed to chat strictly with members only. So that's a different thing from my other regular videos. And I was looking up into the camera at this thing and whatever you want to call it. I think I want to see if I can drag some purple drag my purple back in just a little bit. I don't know if I can or not. The darker color. I'm trying to, but it kind of goes down to the color, so it may not work the way I want it. just to give a little more separation between those. So I'm dipping my stick into the purple and kind of bringing it in, but I'm wiping my stick off every time because if you don't wipe your stick off, then it will get muddied up from the colors it's touching and it'll put it right back on the canvas muddied up. So I'm just trying to just get a little bit of separation there. So 
seeing if I can put some turquoise here to give us just a little bit more definition here. I didn't want it to totally disappear. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'll call this one finished. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Check out all the links below my video. Okay, I'm going to stop playing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.